And joining us now is Haiti Antizana. She is the CEO for Haiti Antizana International. Thanks so much for joining us. And by the way, I love your accent. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> Jen. I love yours. <laughs> thank you. Um, you've worked uh, with many people over your career, very illustrious career, 21 years. In your opinion, uh, what's been the key difference between the, the leaders that you've helped? Mm -hmm. What's been sort of like, what's the secret? What's the secret sauce? So, I work with very successful people with very big titles, but um, I would say that um, the most important, the most common denominator that they had was the fact that they knew the secret source of how to influence and impact people with intention. That is the secret source. So it doesn't come with a title. You're not born. It's not in your genes. It's a skill that is developed and learned through time. Yeah. How do you develop that? You come to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it is a skill that is developed. And um, we talk about the three steps on how to increase your influence and impact. And number one, Jan, it's really about you have to evolve your brand. Like your organization spends time, effort and money with evolving their brand, so must you. You are a constant work in progress in order to stay relevant and impactful, especially in an industry like this, in gaming, where it's so fast paced and competitive. So I talk about three steps. One, evolve your brand so it's impactful and relevant. Two, you need to disrupt you. As this industry, the city we here right now is uh, in Vegas, this is the city of reinvention. So it's That's about true. disrupting yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, disrupting yourself from the inside out. And the third action step and very important is also all about how do you show up with intention? How do you actually show up in what I call, what is your added value to create new opportunities? And that is three words, you show up, um, with vivid experiences and how do people experience you by the way three senses by the way they see you the way they hear you and the way they feel you and i don't mean that like in the actual touch but you know you've done some movies is how do you make people how do actors and actresses make people feel after their best movie scene you know and that's what when people leave you when they walk past you in these corridors how do you make people feel when they are in your energy space mm, that's the keys to success there it's and, right there yeah and you know it's interesting because you are also a mom of three children two of which are <laughs> twins and they're four years old they are four years old how do you how do you do all this so with a great partner my husband's absolutely unbelievable he's fabulous but um i really keep focus. Um, I can be very, uh, I suffer from a disease called, um, I, I call myself a recovering perfectionist. Yeah, yeah. So I've had to let go of a lot of that um, in order to balance my life out, especially since um, uh, arriving in a new country, in a new industry, is um, you really need to show up on purpose and with a plan every single day. Yeah. But I'm passionate about what I do, so I think that helps a lot. Yeah, and how did you choose the gaming industry? How do, I think the gaming industry chose me. <laughs> um, and you know, I've been working with investment banking, I've been working with manufacturing retail for many, many years. And I literally bought a house online from overseas and it was in a, a little town called Temecula. Wait a minute, rewind. So you bought a house <laughs> online. So you're, you're in South Africa, That's where you guys yes, and, and we don't have Amazon really. Amazon is not a thing. Okay. So um, my first purchase online was a house in Temecula, which just happened to be 10 minutes away from a beautiful casino, uh, Pechanga. And yeah. then that got me into the whole Indian gaming and commercial gaming. And you know what? These are people with amazing hearts and soul. Right. And they're in, they're in the entertainment business, but I often say to them, you're not actually in the entertainment business. You're in the people business. That's right. That's right. We're always in the people business, right? I feel like no matter every day, every day you're in the people business. Absolutely. So this is so intriguing to me. So you, you bought this house online, not knowing, not knowing that she would go into that industry, but like you said, it found you because it was right near your house there in Temecula. Absolutely. How incredible is that? I often believe that whatever your destiny, it's all synchronized, you know, and you want to be going there, but there's a big window open right here that will take you where you want to go. But sometimes we 
I often feel that we stand in the way of our own success. Oh, 100. And sometimes you don't see that window because you're too busy going over on to this 100%. side, right? 100%. I totally can get that. So what do you offer gaming organizations to help ensure their success? So really we go in-house and we do training and workshops with their leaders and their teams. And just in order to show up in the way that they are the best brand ambassadors for that organization and that they show wow experiences to increase their profits. At the mm. end of the day, most organizations to survive, you have to bring in revenue, increase profits, etc. But how do you do it by impacting your guests and the employees? And that is really by future-proofing your own brand. So if you future-proof your own brand, you'll future-proof the brand that you work with. Mm. You know, it's interesting. I always wonder what someone like you who helps, helps to coach, you know, and helps, helps these teams, helps these organizations, do you have a ritual that you do when you wake up in the morning? When you do you have like a something you do throughout the day, at night? Let me tell you, uh, daily for me, it is it's devotional. It's uh, I, I, I'm, I am based spiritually based. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I am religious, and I just really believe that I start and end my day with a daily devotion, and I just know. Um, that good. whenever they, uh, I don't trust myself, I know there's a bigger picture for me. Yeah, yeah. And my biggest thing is, and that most people don't do, is if you really want to disrupt yourself and grow, you need to get uncomfortable. You need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because the minute you do that, wow, you just leap into your next success area. Yeah, I like that a lot. So spirituality in the morning and spirituality at night before you go to bed. Like, yeah, right. and have a laugh in between. I yeah. mean, <laughs> life is short. Just enjoy it. Don't be so serious about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joyce Myers, who I love, once said, when she wakes up, you got to go. I'm expecting great news today. I'm expecting great news today. And she's also a very, she's a very spiritual. Uh, uh, Joyce Myers, I, I watch her uh, right? all, all the time. But can I tell you something? Another thing is the fact that uh, emotions are contagious yeah. so be careful what emotions you're projecting out because you're constantly subconsciously influencing and impacting people whether you want to or not so make sure that whatever you're infecting whatever emotion you're infecting people with it's a good one yeah that they want to yeah. come back because the best compliment you could ever get Jan is if somebody else said you got to meet Jan because <laughs> what they want is they want to share the experience of Jan with others. Oh, that's so great. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I want to meet Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jan. <laughs>